Scrappy People, it's Tracy Reed here today and I have some awesome news about the Silhouette software which is requiring me to record a whole new demonstration video on how to print and cut my stickers in Silhouette. But luckily, they are so much easier now, so many less steps, so much so, in fact, that I might be um, updating how I provide the files. So let's chat about the new Silhouette software. So my files are provided in a few different ways and the way that I have provided these files in the past has been to make it easy for you to um, print and cut in silhouette. So I have the fussy cutting files which come with the black outlines for anything that needs them. And then I also have individual files so that you can, you know, print and cut individually. And then I have with bleed and silhouette and these two were meant to work together so that you um, would open up one of these with bleed PDF sheets and you can see that there's extra space around each of these stickers. You would open up one of these in conjunction with one of these silhouette outlines to create the fussy or the the outlines for the silhouette machine very easily to read. However, there has been a update for the silhouette software and these two are sort of moot at this point because I now provide these fussy cut no lines which are actually work for the Cricut as well. That's actually why I started providing them because I have a girl on my team who has a Cricut and so she said that these would work better for her but I've discovered that they also work really well in the new silhouette software. So these are just the trimmed down, no bleed, fussy cut files with no black outlines around the white space. And what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna show you how easy this is. We can just go to file open and go to the correct file here. So I'm gonna open up my love list stickers and if I come in here to the fussy cut no lines, I can just double click and open. And you will see that the silhouette already creates the outline for all of the fussy cutting lines, but it gets better. The one thing that I have noticed with the new silhouette software is that the most recent version will open up these files really, really huge. So I actually backed up a few versions to a less recent version. And while it no longer opens up my files huge, it does um, center them in the top corner. And I believe that there is a setting to fix that. And we'll go through the settings in a minute. But from here, all I have to do is go into my page setup turn on my registration marks and I still want to have the registration marks the smallest that they possibly can be for these files. And then I can just move this whole sheet down into the red box very easily, making sure that they all clear all of the space where they cannot be printed. And now I am ready to print and cut. So another thing that I've learned coming in here and playing around with this is you can actually move all of these independently of each other as well. So if you right click and release compound path, they will now all become their own separate little thing. Just like if you were moving them around in Photoshop and you can move these over, you can delete things that you don't necessarily want to print and fill in the space with something you do want to print and cut. So maybe you don't want these tags. Um, you're not going to use these tags. So you could come in here and you could delete these tags and instead fill it up with some florals from a different sheet. So it has become super easy, a lot more user friendly in the Photoshop or Photoshop silhouette software to both print and cut these files, but also edit them as well. So if you go into your settings, go to file, oh no, wait, let's see, services. I think it's file, I thought it was file preferences. Let's see here. 
uh, it's edit preferences. So if you go into edit preferences, there are a bunch of different settings here for when you import files. So if you come in here to import, here are all your options for importing and we are importing PNGs. So in order to get the cut lines around them automatically, you're going to want to make sure that this auto trace is turned on and that will give you the lines automatically around the outside. Okay, so from here, let me back up a couple and get me my tag back. Okay, so from here, once you are ready to print and cut, it is super simple. You just go to File, Print. And at this point, you can either print directly to your printer if you're printing at home. And if you're not printing at home and instead sending this off to a um, office supply store to be printed for you, you of course want the registration mark so that it will work for your um, silhouette. So you would want to come in here down to PDF and just hit save as PDF instead of print. And it will give you the option to save it to your hard drive. And then you can upload that to the um, office supply store. And I have a video on that already that I will link below that I previously recorded on how to print through an office supply store. And then once you have those printed, you would then go to send, just like any other silhouette file. And you would select the appropriate paper settings for whatever you printed on and send it to your silhouette. It is that simple nowadays. You don't have to go through the extra steps that we used to have to go to go through to make it easier before. And I'm really excited about this change. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. And I will definitely answer any questions to the best of my ability. All right. Thank you.